cardio right now um, hopefully I can get some footage for you guys sometimes the more like commercial gyms this is a gold sometimes the more commercial gyms are a little bit weirder about filming um, which is one reason I like going to the grit house they don't care um, so hopefully I can get some footage for you guys and kind of give you an idea of what my cardio routine is my routine right now is about the same thing every day um, just because I like it it's convenient um, I'm doing 30 minutes this in the morning fasted so um, let me hide my tripod because I don't want it to be obvious so one of the most common questions that I get on social media is should I be doing fasted morning cardio the answer is not quite as simple as a yes or a no but I will tell you that there are countless articles online that will say all kinds of different things some will say yes, some will say no, and oftentimes I've had people tell me that after researching, they left even more confused than before. But have no fear, Emily is here. I am going to lay out all the facts and information I have found throughout my years of researching the subject. While there's nothing wrong with fe fed cardio, the point of this is to give you a clearer picture on how fasted morning cardio affects your body. Then in turn, you can decide whether it will help you reach your individual goal. First, a lot of people assume that fasted morning cardio means cardio on an empty stomach. Wrong. You cannot determine whether you are in a fasted state just by how your stomach feels. I know personally, I feel like my stomach is eating itself all day, every day, but this doesn't necessarily mean that I'm in a fasted state. When your body is processing the food you've eaten, you're in a fed state and your insulin levels are higher. Once your body is done, you enter a fasted state and your insulin levels return to a low baseline level. Thus, doing morning fasted cardio ensures that you are in a true fasted state, meaning that your insulin levels are at, a, are at their true baseline. If you're looking to primarily burn fat, fasted morning cardio is something you should definitely consider. I personally perform fasted morning cardio for 30 minutes five times a week. Research has shown that exercising in a fasted state increases the rate at which your body will break down fat cells for energy, as well as the rate your body burns this energy. The reason for this is because as you sleep and fast overnight, your body conserves its carb stores and leans towards utilizing fat for fuel and breaks down amino acids into glucose. 
Therefore, fasted morning cardio mobilizes more fat and more amino acids for fuel. Studies have also shown that fasted morning cardio may especially be beneficial for those with a lower body fat percentage or with stubborn fat areas such as like your stomach, inner and outer thighs, lower butt. This is because blood flow is increased in a fasted state, which allows more fat burning chemicals to get to those areas. Another way to maximize your fat burning potential is performing HIT cardio during your fasted morning cardio. HIT cardio means high intensity interval training. It'll only take a few sessions of 20 to 30 minutes per week for you to see noticeable results. The reason for this is HIIT cardio burns more calories in a less amount of time than steady state cardio. HIIT also increases your metabolic rate for up to 24 hours. There's less muscle loss, it improves insulin sensitivity, and that's just to name a few. Long story short, I always talk more than I mean to in these videos. But for all the reasons stated before, if you're looking to burn fat, fasted morning HIT cardio is definitely something you should consider adding to your training plan. Now, if you're looking to primarily build muscle, this wouldn't be ideal for you. Fasted morning cardio does increase muscle breakdown rates. While it's not an incredible amount, if you're solely looking to build muscle, any muscle breakdown is bad muscle breakdown. If you're looking to burn fat as well as maintain as much lean muscle mass as possible, this isn't a huge deal for you as long as you consume BCAAs while you're performing your fasted cardio as well as a fast digested whey protein and slow digesting casein protein after your cardio. I hope this helps you guys navigate all the fasted cardio information out there on the web. What I am performing in this video is 30 minutes of morning fasted hit cardio. On a low incline, I am jogging and sprinting for one minute, lunging for one minute, and walking for one minute. Every time it's time to run again, I increase the speed to make it just a little tougher. Feel free to leave me other questions you'd like me to answer in the comment section of this video. I'd be happy to make my next video about something you've always wondered about. Okay, really quick, tell YouTube where <laughs> we are. Smiling. It's a video. Tell them where we are. This is super hot. Oh, are we about to have fun? Yes. Why are you guys so shy? You haven't been shy this whole time. <laughs> you better do some funny stuff. So I can get lots of funny videos. I got it from SpongeBob. From SpongeBob? Yeah, I remember that episode where like Chubb and Sandy tries to like, uh, like uh, see how they act like. Oh <laughs> yeah, I do remember that one. We watched that like, one. All right, let's go.
we are getting ready to head to the gym to film some shoulders, but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that entered the eight week challenge. I had no idea that this many people would be interested in this, so we will probably have another one in the future, maybe. Also, keep an eye on your email, on YouTube, on Instagram. I'm going to send you guys kind of a weekly email on some motivation, some tips, tricks. Um, I'll also have them on YouTube and Instagram as well. But um, just keep an eye on that. I think that'll help keep you guys motivated from week to week. Also, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I will see you next week.